The European Spallation Source, normally referred to as ESS, is a, an international collaboration to build the world's largest neutron source. That facility is currently under construction in Lund, which is a town in the south of Sweden. The facility will be effectively a giant neutron microscope that both industry and academia can use to investigate the internal structure of materials. The active cells facility is being delivered by RACE as part of the UK government's contribution to the European Spallation Source. The active cells will dispose of all of the waste that comes out of the experimental facility. So right at the centre of the experiment, where everything becomes very radioactive, it will be pulled out, processed and sent off-site entirely using robotics and remote operation. That's where RACE's expertise lies. RACE is part of the UK Atomic Energy Authority. It stands for Remote Applications in Challenging Environments. And what that means is that we deliver robotics for use in areas where it's too dangerous to send people. The robotic handling system is made up of two elements. The first is a heavy lift crane. This can lift components up to 25 tonnes in weight. And this is used for moving around these very heavy components as they come in from the experiment. The other element of the robotic handling system is the manipulator system. This is required to replace any actions that you'd normally expect a human to do. Over the 50 year lifespan of the active cells, we don't think it's gonna be possible to send workers inside the very hot areas at all. So everything within that area has to be maintained and operated entirely remotely. Each of the components from the experiment come into the active cells through a large hole in the ceiling and they land down carefully on what we call a receiving fixture, so a jig that, that effectively catches the component and stops them from falling over. From there, the robotic handling system will pick up the component and move it on to the next stage of processing. Many of the components are long shaft-like components which are several metres tall and the target wheel, for example, is 2.5 metres in diameter. We don't like to cut these standing up, so the first operation we do is to lay them over into a horizontal position. We then bring in our first processing station, which is called the shaft cutting station. This is a large cutting tool based on a wire saw, and the saw itself can be moved to various positions along the shaft to cut multiple meters down into shorter lengths, which can be more easily handled and disposed of. Some of the components require more complicated processing because the different materials need to be segregated. To do these more complicated cutting operations, we have a second diamond wire saw, uh, which we call the machining station. At this station the component is placed uh, on a bed and the saw itself can move in multiple directions to perform a more complicated cut. RACE has produced a series of thick steel doors that separate the active areas from areas where people may be uh, performing their work. The component transfatch allows us to move small tools and other bits of equipment between the active cells and the worker access areas. Once the components have been processed, they need to be moved into the storage area of the cell. And to do this, they're picked up by the robotic handling system and moved through these two large steel doors called the intrabay doors. These open to allow access for cranes, but can close to make sure that people can safely access the facility when needed. The process waste is stored in pits underneath heavy concrete lids. The real challenge with these lids has been to design them in such a way that they can be picked up and put back in safely by the robotic handling system without any operator intervention. The reason that this project has been so important for RACE is that the type of facility we're designing here is absolutely gonna be necessary in any delivery of fusion power in the future. This is an incredibly exciting project to be a part of and it's been a real privilege to be involved from uh, the point of the project where it was just some ideas on a bit of paper to really seeing equipment being installed and commissioned and making it into uh, a working facility.